I recently posted a video on my channel about the 18th of August 1940, the Battle of Britain's famous hardest day, and the connections between RAF Kenley and the churchyard at the nearby church of St Luke in the village of Whiteleaf, Surrey. Do please take a look at that film and feel free to comment. Today I've returned to the churchyard of St Luke's to focus on the story of one man in particular. Among the many acts of bravery on that day, this man's story still has the ability to stand out. 819-018, Sergeant Peter K. Wally. This is his story. Peter Kenneth Wally, seen here in uniform was born in November 1919. At the time of his death on that fateful day, he was serving with 615 Squadron here at RAF Kenley. Today, RAF Kenley is the best preserved of all the Battle of Britain airfields. Peter Wally was flying a Hawker Hurricane fighter aircraft in aerial combat early that afternoon when he came under attack from a German Messerschmitt BF-109. Eyewitnesses say that Wally stayed with his stricken aircraft, fighting to keep it clear of a densely populated area before crashing onto Morden Park Golf Course in South London. A plaque commemorating Peter Wally's bravery was unveiled at Merton Technical College near the crash site in 1972. As we have already seen, Peter Wally was laid to rest here, in Airman's Corner, in the churchyard at St Luke's, in Whiteleaf, Surrey. His extraordinary bravery ended with a remarkable act of self-sacrifice, something that should never be forgotten. Please subscribe for more.